Out on the Water and Around Town with our host, Chris Evans. Hello, I'm Chris Emmons and I'm a pharmacist down here in Marathon. I came down to Marathon last year, I've lived in the Keys for a really long time, and I'm in a period of transition. And you're here to watch MarathonFlorida.com get you on the water and around town. Each episode is going to take you to some place very interesting in Marathon and tell you some great information along the way. I hope to be your host, but if things don't work out, my replacement will be just as educational and interesting for you. So please sit back, come with us, and enjoy the MarathonFlorida.com Get You On The Water and Around Town show. I'm here right now at Tilden Scuba Center and we're at mile marker 49.5. We're across from the Home Depot. And what we're gonna to do today is get you on the water. Come on and join us. You're gonna have a great time. I brought the toys, so you don't need toys. You can use mine. I'm so happy that you're with us. Come on, let's go. We gotta sign some papers and then go to the boat. Come on, follow me, I'll show you. Come on. This is Scott, our dive professional, and I was chatting with him, telling him we have three folks to go scubaing and three folks to go diving. And he was telling me some things about what we're gonna do. All right, so we have a auto hopper, 30 foot auto hopper dive boat out here. We can hold up to 12 divers or 18 snorkelers. We also have snuba diving, like you said, you have three snuba divers. If that can't accommodate your party, we also have two more boats up at Dive Duck Key, our other location. For snuba diving, you do have to be at least eight years old to participate, which is very young, and it's accommodating for most families that come down here. So with snuba diving, once again, we have our surface float that has our tank in it, and it'll be breathing off of a regulator underwater down to about a depth of about 20 feet. So this is great for families because you don't have to be certified in order to go snuba diving. We give you an education on the dock before we get on the boat, and then once we're on the boat, we, we give you signals for what kind of fish we're going to be seeing. Sometimes there's a lionfish, sometimes there's lobster, sometimes there's a nurse shark, and you can pet the nurse shark maybe, if you're lucky. But no matter what, we're always going to see great stuff down there. It's always a blast, it's always really fun, and everyone really enjoys it. Scott, this snoobaying and scoobaying, mm -hmm. can anybody do it? Can you just go out there in the water and just do it yourself? Well, there are a few restrictions. So, you do, for snooba, you don't have to be certified. You can just do that as long as you don't have any medical contraindications, such as asthma, heart conditions, epilepsy, or anything like that. As far as scuba diving, you do have to have a certification. And we do training here. We can get you open water certified, rescue diver, advanced, dive master, everything. So it's obvious that we're in good hands here at Tilden Scuba Center. Well, Scott, now that my friends are here, let's get going. All right, let's go. The boat's waiting. Don't go anywhere. Sombrero Reef is next. Lionfish may be beautiful to look at, but they are a danger, not only to the waters of the Keys, but to humans as well. Never try to pick up a lionfish or remove one from the hook, as their spines are toxic. Only someone with proper knowledge should ever attempt to handle the lionfish. Hi, and I hope that you've been enjoying the show. I am thrilled to be here in Marathon in the Florida Keys on Marathon Florida TV channel 88 and MarathonFlorida.com. This is the premiere Marathon TV station where you're going to find out about all the greatest things about this wonderful community and its great people, food, dining, live music, water activities, everything that's going on right here. This channel is bringing together this amazing community and telling the stories of all of the wonderful things that are going on right here. But it takes a lot to put this station together. We're talking 24-hour programming to capture everything that's going on here. It takes a lot to put this station together and we really need all of your help. 
works, and there's many ways that you can participate. You can go to MarathonFlorida.com and like our social media pages and give us some feedback and share your ideas about some of the programming you'd like to see right here. Or you can take it up to another level and become an advertiser with our station because we need to find out what's going on in your business and in your backyard. This is where you want to share all of your wonderful news and all of the wonderful things that you have to offer in your business. So go to our website, give us a call, find out how you can be a part of Marathon Florida TV channel 88, marathonflorida.com, because it really does take a community to bring this entire thing together and show the world why this is the best place to be in Florida. When boating, please take your garbage back with you and dispose it properly on the land. Hi, my friends and I are here. Hey, Dan, I'm Kyle. I'm going to be the snuba instructor today. Uh, I'll be with the snuba divers. See, we have a mixed family, some divers, some snuba divers. So right now we're going to have the divers set their gear up on the boat, make sure everything's working properly. And I'm going to take the snuba gang. We're going to talk about how we do snuba safely and comfortably so we can have a great time down here at the Keys. Are we ready? Yeah. Ready. All right. Let's go. <laughs> You know, Marathon, Florida is a great place to go diving. Scuba diving, snorkeling, swimming. This is where you want to go. The water's warm. You're halfway down the Keys. You're going to have an awesome experience looking at a plethora of fish. This is where it's at. All right, guys, how's everyone doing today? Good. OK. Again, my name's Kyle. I'm going to be your snoob instructor with you in the water. So who here has ever done snuba or scuba? Any kind of scuba diving ever done? All right, who here knows how to swim? All right, that's a good starter. Now, when this regulator's in your mouth, it's kind of hard to talk to one another. You know what I got? I don't understand. What are you doing? You're not going to be able to understand us. All right, so we use hand signals. So what do you think this means? No, this isn't cool or uncool like the fonds. This is up, this is down. This is okay. This is a question and an answer. So if I say, are you okay? Just make sure you give me an okay back. If I say, are you okay? I don't get an okay back. I gotta swim up to you. Assume something's wrong. What can I do? You're gonna be like, yes, Kyle, I'm fine. Get away from me. I'm okay. Are you excited? Yep. Very cool. All right, let's hop on the boat. Uh, you'll see up forward behind those louver doors is what we call the V-berth. Inside the V-berth on both sides, our orange life jackets. My best advice to you is if you see me putting a life jacket on, good time for you guys to put life jackets on. All right?
arrived. Captain Pat, you got us here safe and sound. And uh, I think that you've done this maybe more than once? Once or twice a day for the last year or so. You've been down here for about a year. Right. And why did you choose this career? Um, I actually retired from 30 years in law enforcement, and this was the best job I could think of. What makes it a great job? Um, I get to come out and do this every single day. I drive people to where they want to go diving, and I take them to different spots and show them things they've never ever seen before in a beautiful area. And it just, it makes me feel good that I actually get paid to do that. So you are happy with this area? Oh my gosh, this area is beautiful. This, this area is probably better than any area in Florida to die. Well now, Captain Pat, that's a big statement. I back it up with anybody. You can see what the water's like today. You can see what the coral's like. You can see that the fish don't swim away from you when you swim here. They come right up to you. Now that's fascinating. Would you like to have friends be fish? Because this is where you want to come, okay? I saw a school of fish. They were cute. They were black stripes and yellow. Sergeant Majors. Like yellow. Right, Sergeant Majors. That's and they didn't seem like they were concerned and there was a lot of them. It's because we're in a marine sanctuary. These guys are so used to divers. As you can tell from all the boats that are out here, they think that the divers are just other fish and they won't bother them so they don't worry about them. Well, now that's amazing. I want to thank you for coming out with us because like you're adding to our fun and I hope we're adding to yours. Don't go anywhere. There's more out on the water and around town with Chris Emmons coming up after this. Sombrero Reef got its name from the Sombrero Lighthouse and comes from the Spanish Keo Sombrero, or Key Hat. There is always something going on in the Keys. Check our website for events and activities near you. Welcome back. We hope that you've been enjoying this wonderful show. All of us here at Marathon Florida TV, Channel 88, are working really hard to bring you the best that Marathon and the Florida Keys has to offer. But it takes a lot of work to bring a station like this together, and we need everyone's help in the community to pull this off and make this the premier station right here in Marathon Florida Channel 88. We are looking for a variety of people to give us great ideas of what they would like to see right here on this station. This is Marathon's premier station, this is your station, and we want to know what's on your mind. We need producers, we need great show ideas, but most of all, we need advertisers because it's the advertisers that really allow us to bring our message home and it really allows us to bring you some great programming and to capture all of the wonderful things that we can offer right here in Marathon in the Florida Keys. We are looking for people that would like to contribute and not just with their business ideas and their show ideas, but also in any way that they can to advertise things that they have going on because we want to know, we care about what's going on right here in your business at Channel 88. Please use caution when visiting the reefs. Your accident can be their disaster. Throughout the Keys, many decommissioned ships have been purposely sunk to create artificial reefs for the sea life to live in. question for Captain Pat. I already know that you know the answer, but I bet that Captain Pat doesn't. Okay, you ready? <laughs> oh, hi Captain Pat. Hi. I see that you have your feet in the water. I was wondering how you feel about that. I feel wonderful. He feels wonderful. And how do you define wonderful? Uh, I'm cooling myself down by having myself partially submerged. It is warm here. Now, I'm going to tell Captain Pat something, but I already know that you know it. One of the things that makes you feel wonderful in the water, Captain Pat, is because the seawater 
is very, very similar to the ambionic fluid that you swam in for 10 lunar months before you came out, getting all your nutrition there, the magnesium, the trace elements, and it made Captain Pat and you and I feel very restful because there was no concerns, all needs were met, felt safe. And we don't really know why, but subconsciously, we feel safe, calm, restful, and in a good place. I feel like I'm in a good place. See, there's proof. When you get around the sea, getting into it is wonderful and has many good benefits. But breathing it, did you know that's just as wonderful? When you go to the beach or when you get an opportunity to get near seawater anywhere, breathe deep. What you're doing is you're bringing in so many negative ions. They're coming in, they're attaching to your lungs. And what do they do? They allow your body to absorb more oxygen. So if you notice Captain Pat was so relaxed and everything's chilling and okay, that's one of the things that happens when your body's well oxygenated. Because if it's not, then subliminally, you're carrying not enough oxygen and there's a little bit of tension on the brain. Something's wrong, something's wrong, looking for something wrong. I want to tell you something important about sea air. There's iodine in it. Iodine's a gas. And so what happens is as the sea rolls, moves up, down, some of the iodine that's in it floats in the air. Now you're breathing that in, as well as the negative ions. Now the good thing about the iodine is that iodine feeds your thyroid. And your thyroid is your master gland in the body. It's the ones that tell the other ones, work, work good, don't give anybody a problem. So what do you experience? You experience better health, and you experience feeling peaceful, and you experience having vitality. And we, we do have a trouble getting iodine in our body. That's why we buy the salt that's iodized. So see, you don't even have to get in the seawater in order to have benefit. Breathe in, breathe out. Well, I'm up here sunbathing. I haven't been in the sea. We could talk about sunbathing, but I think that would be another episode of the benefits of that. I'm gonna talk about sea bathing. Now, bet you never heard about that. It goes back to Hippocrates, way back when. He called it thalassotherapy. Thalasso is Greek meaning sea. What's thalassotherapy? Getting in the water. And that's what my six friends are doing. They are immersed in the water. They think they're snorkeling or they're snoobling or uh, they're actually sea bathing. You want to sea bathe too, every chance that you can get. Sea bathing is full of benefits that are said to benefit you. And I'm going to tell you some that you can find if you do your own internet search. First of all, when you're in the water, it opens up your pores. What happens? Your pores can breathe. Breathe out, breathe in. What are they breathing in? Is all the trace minerals and all the magnesium, calcium, potassium, sodium that's in the water. In fact, every mineral that is in your body is in the water and you're bringing it in. Now, what does that do for you? Well, let's talk about that. There is magnesium. Magnesium has a couple of benefits on the body. First of all, it acts as a relaxer of the nerves. Another reason why you feel restful when you get in the sea. There are actually, some say 83, some say 88 elements in the sea that are in us too, and we benefit by going into there. Cleopatra loved the Dead Sea. She loved it so much for healing properties and health that she made it a point to legislate in her time that she held all the rights to the Dead Sea and all of the sea baths and all of the sea pools that were offered at that time. So you just think you're here sunbathing and swimming, but you're really doing wonderful things for your body. We kind of figured out that the healthy things happen in the seawater and we want to sea bathe. 
And I would like to share with you that there's something that comes out of the sea that we can collect, and it's called sea solids. This is the solid form of all of the elements that are in the sea. Now this is a very uh, good form to help your plants, your animals, and yourself. Um, with the best way to probably to describe it is that you have two forces in the body. You have the energy of vitality and you have the energy of sickness. And when you add this material, the sea solids, you buff up the uh, vitality energy so it can do a better job of fighting the sick energy. You can find out more information at subtleenergies.com and you can learn to collect it for yourself too. Subtle Energies has got a great library on the subject. Wrap anchor and hang tight, there's more to come. Marathon began its life as a base camp for the railroad workers. It is said they gave Marathon its name after their own endurance. Hope you've been enjoying the show. Welcome back, I'm Angela. We're reporting from right here in Marathon in the Florida Keys. This is Marathon Florida TV, Channel 88, and MarathonFlorida.com. And it takes a lot of hard work to bring shows together in this amazing station right here in Marathon. And when I first found out about it, I knew I wanted to be involved and I became a producer and I'm going to be producing shows right here on this channel, Channel 88, and I couldn't be more thrilled. However, I need your help. We all need your help. And there's three different things that you can do. You can be a fan of our wonderful shows here and support our local talent and all of the wonderful programming that they're bringing to you or feel free to be a sponsor of one of our shows. There's many, many ways. You could just call the number on your screen to find out amazing sponsorship opportunities of how you can get involved and get highlighted right on one of our shows and also on our website. Or you could also be an advertiser and buy one of our fabulous spots during one of our amazing shows right here on Channel 88, Marathon Florida TV, because we'd be thrilled to have you. This is your chance to show the community the amazing business that you have and to highlight all of the wonderful things that you're offering our Marathon community. So please go on our website, find out how you can get involved. You can be a fan, you can be a sponsor, you can be an advertiser. All the information will be on our website or on this or on the phone number right here on our screen. So feel free to reach out and stay tuned because we're bringing you some great stuff. Again, I'm Angela and please keep a lookout for me and my show that I'm really excited about to bring you right here on Marathon Florida TV. And don't hesitate to reach out to us and find out how you can get involved because this is a community effort and we need your help. Thank you for watching and stay tuned. Remember the rules of fishing. Take only in season and only the limit. Hey, I just got some seawater here. Got it from out there. I would like to tell you a little bit of something on seawater that if we all realized this from the time we were young, we would appreciate that there's more to the physical world than just what we can touch and see. And it might change the way that we live life and the way that everybody on the planet lives life and have it actually be better for everybody. So we have this seawater. This seawater contains 96.5% pure water and it contains 3.5% of the other ions uh, such as the calcium and the magnesium and the potassium, the trace elements, the chlorine. And I want to talk to you about the water that's in seawater, the 96.5%, because water is something so special. There's an energy in water that nobody can explain, and this energy causes it to behave in a way that it shouldn't. And it starts right from the chemical formula and how it's put together. What is water? H2O. Two hydrogens and one oxygen. Put together, oxygen, hydrogen, hydrogen. The hydrogens have a plus one charge to them and the oxygen has a negative two. So you've got two hydrogens onto one oxygen. And that makes sense. You would think, oh, they're balanced. Ah, they would be balanced if the angle of the two hydrogens on the oxygen was 180 degrees but it's not.
the angle of the two hydrogens on the oxygen is 105. So what's the big deal? I'm going to show you the big deal. And it starts with this ice. Whenever something gets cold, it contracts, becomes denser, heavier. So ice should be heavier than water. And so if we put ice in water, it's going to sink. Oh yeah, sure, it didn't sink. That was supposed to sink. According to all the laws that we know, that should sink, and it doesn't. So I want you to appreciate water. Did you have a good time? Oh, awesome time, awesome time. Oh, I bet you do this all the time living in Florida, North Florida. I've snorkeled, but never done this with the tanks and just being able to go down deeper and stay down there and not leave the beautiful surroundings, it was just awesome. We just finished a great day on the sea with Tilden Scuba Center. We had fun. Thanks for joining us. Remember, bring the sea into your world. See ya. Bye, everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank Letting you. me be part of the fun. Bye-bye, guys. I'll be back. We'll be back. Hi, welcome back. Wasn't that a great show? I really loved it and I really hope you did too because this is what we're all about here at Marathon Florida TV, channel 88, marathonflorida.com. We're here to bring you shows just like this, full of all the wonderful things happening right here in Marathon in the Florida Keys. And so I'm reaching out now to all of the local businesses right here in our community that would be interested in advertising right here in our show because this is the premier station the marathon in the Florida Keys. It doesn't get any better than this. We're bringing you the best programming around. And this is your chance to highlight your business. And we would like to know what you have got going on. We have amazing, amazing ways to get involved in terms of advertising. So please feel free to give us a call, go to our website, reach out to us, and learn of all the wonderful opportunities available to help make your business shine. We are not only broadcasting in about 30 thousand homes right here across the Florida Keys, but we're also international at MarathonFlorida.com, reaching audiences around the globe. So it's a wonderful opportunity to let the community know that you're, what you've got going on and to share your brand and your business and your message with the world. I guarantee you that you're going to be thrilled about what you're going to find out and the wonderful opportunities that lay ahead right here on Channel 88, Marathon Florida TV, and MarathonFlorida.com. So what are you waiting for? Come join me and all of the wonderful shows on our network and find out how you can be a part of what we've got going on. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Angela here, Channel 88, Marathon Florida TV, MarathonFlorida.com.